Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 3, and this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 23, otherwise known as the finale for Season 3, which is otherwise entitled Finish Line. So it is just crazy that this is the finale, but before we get into anything else, let's actually watch the trailer. So just wow, like what can we actually say about the events of last episode, that being episode 22? Not only did we get a nice return of a familiar character and face in the form of Captain Cold and see him team up with our favourite Scarlet Speeds during the form of Barry, but we also had the episode end with not just one, but two cliffhanger moments which leave us with questions going into the finale. Now, the biggest of these is obviously the death of Iris West at the hands of the big bad this season, Savitar. Despite the best efforts of everyone involved, he was just a step ahead of them. One of the negatives, I guess, when it comes to facing a future version of yourself. But we will talk more about that towards the end of the video, especially around like a certain theory that people have. So stick around until then if you want to hear uh, a bit of what I think of that. And the second thing was around Vibe and Killer Frost battle. We ended with Cisco on the ground. So will Cisco get his hands like messed up and frozen off like the Cisco in 2024 we saw in episode 19 did? Or will Killer Frost have like a change of heart and mercy? It's, it, there's a lot to be answered in this finale, so they got a lot on their plate. But there has been a synopsis or a description released for this episode. It's really small, doesn't really tell us anything, but I think I'll go over it anyway. But before we do that, if you do go on to enjoy the video, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like, especially seeing this is the last trailer breakdown for season three. It'd be much appreciated if you could drop a like on it. And obviously, as per usual, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. With nothing left to lose, Barry takes on Savitar in an epic conclusion to Season 3. So yeah, I really wasn't lying there when I said the synopsis really didn't have much to it. It was pretty damn simple. The Flash finale synopsises or descriptions are usually exactly like that, but replace Season 3 with Season 2 or Season 1. They really just outline the most obvious things, try not to spoil anything or give any hints as to what's going to happen. So I wasn't expecting a big synopsis. Now, the trailer starts off with what will be the follow-on from the closing scene of last episode, which of course was the death of Iris West. Even though we did see Joe's reaction at the end of last episode, it was still tough to see him again in this trailer. And I think the first or like, you know, the opening five minutes roughly of this episode is going to be pretty tough to watch. But one thing that may surprise a lot of people going by like the amount of comments I saw yesterday on my video with the same theory is that we actually see H.R. Wells on a rooftop looking down upon what you would think is Barry holding Iris. He does seem to be in the exact same spot or position as we saw in, I think it was episode 10 of this season when Cisco and Barry vibe to the moment that Barry saw in episode 9. Now, in regards to that HR theory, as I sort of hinted at earlier, I will go over that, sort of, you know, not go completely over it, but I'll cover it uh, for a bit later on once we have covered the rest of the trailer. The next part we see in the trailer that is worth speaking about is here, as we see Savitar Barry. That's what I'm going to call him. I've been calling him that for the, a while, for a couple of videos. Yeah, Savitar Barry in his hideout, standing next to Killer Frost. You can't really make her out too well, but you can slightly see her hair, and it's obviously going to be Killer Frost hanging out with Savitar Barry. You can also see the suit of Savitar, like, chained up in the background here. Now, we did see a similar shot to this in the Sizzle Reel trailer that was re released, like, what, a week or two ago, which led a lot, like, led a lot of people, sorry, to wonder why it was chained up like this. Now, I don't think there is any, like, real great reason behind why it would be chained up. It could be so it, like, doesn't run away. That sounds weird, but we know it can move without having someone within it. So, possibly Savitar Barry is a bit paranoid about it, like, bailing on him. Because we don't know if, like, Savitar Barry can, like, mind control it. Or if it's, like, a suit that's, pre uh, like, built to sort of, like, protect this Savitar Barry if he's in danger, like, out of the suit. We really don't know. It could also be hung up due to like Savitar Barry like working on the suit. We did see him tinkering with it in last episode when he was approached by Killer Frost and asked about why he needs to kill Iris and everything like that. So maybe the chains are used to like keep the suit upright while he does any work on it. 
I can't imagine this big metal suit being light exactly, so I think the chains might help with that. But as I said, there could be like no real reason as to why it is being held up by these chains. It could just be there to, you know, look a bit cooler. But let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section down below. But speaking of Savitar and Killer Frost, while we are seeing that Savitar suit in the chains and for a few shots after that as well, we do hear Savitar say, today, I become a god. Which is followed by Savitar like running around in a circle while like a breach or a portal of sorts begins to open in the center of that circle. Or it could have already been there and maybe Savitar's running around something that's already being formed. And this is all while Killer Frost watches on from a distance. Now I know the big questions everyone is asking themselves here is what the hell is that breach or portal and where or when does it lead to? And those are great questions to ask which I will quickly give my opinion on in a second. But let me know what you are thinking about all of these in the comment section down below as well. One possibility is that Savitar is opening these up to like run really far back in time. Like you know how like when Barry went to the future and stuff he needed Wally's help and all that. And even when he had to run back in time from the future I think future Barry helped him as well. Even when like Jay Garrick and stuff. So he does need help you know running back in time. So maybe Savitar needs the exact same help or he needs to run for a really long time to set up a breach that it can allow him to run far that back. Another option is some multiverse travel. I don't know, that could happen. A crazy one could be to like travel to another timeline and this one is like a race, like how the Singularity almost did at the end of season one. That's a crazy one. But one that I think would be really interesting to happen would be if this is actually the Speed Force fighting back against Savitar and that's why Savitar is running around it to try and like stop the Speed Force from interrupting him. When Savitar is running around this breach portal thing, you do see flashes of like yellowy orange lightning from within that breach portal, which could be someone like Barry or even Jay Garrick preventing whatever he is attempting to do. Now the look on Killer Frost's face here does look like she is a, you know, a tiny bit worried. Maybe she found out about Savitar's true plan and maybe isn't the biggest fan of it after like finally learning of what it is. Or maybe she is realizing that she may have sided with the wrong team on this one as Savitar could be about to be stopped. Now one thing to point out about their location, some of you might have noticed it. I'm pretty sure this is the location of where those Savitar like cult followers had that statue of Savitar and were like worshipping him and stuff like that. So this does seem to like be like almost like the shrine or like the temple of Savitar. So it doesn't surprise me that this is where this scene is taking place. And this will most likely be the final showdown area for Savitar and Barry or, you know, just the place where Savitar is defeated. But I just wanted to note out about the area. We really, we really can't take too much about the area because we've only seen it once on the show. And from this shot in the finale, you don't really get too much of a good look at it because it's from a distance. But I'm pretty sure that's where this location is. It's like where that Savitar statue was. One of the cooler theories as to what could happen in the finale though would be if Black Flash were to show up to like dispose or you know get rid of Savitar as almost like a job from the Speed Force. While as I said it would be pretty damn cool if this were to happen, I could see them being a bit you know reluctant or like hesitant on doing this due to Black Flash's role in Legends of Tomorrow this season and you know his part in taking down the villain. So they may want to avoid similar things so close together like in like the same season if that makes sense because you know season two of legends ran along season three of the flash so they might want to try and avoid that but then again black flash should be on like you know the flash show and i think if savitar is not necessarily going to be trapped in the speed force you know black flash might have to come along to sort of dispose of him because i don't know if black flash sees like the savitar barry as sort of like an aberration if you want to call it that and worthy of being taken down so I think if that was to happen, it would make sense. But as I said, they might be a bit hesitant on having Black Flash be the solution for the villain in two shows in the same year, if that makes sense. So hopefully you understand what I'm getting at there as to why they might not use Black Flash. But as I did say, it would be awesome and I would be all for Black Flash showing up to get rid of Savitar. I could, however, see something play out along the lines of like Barry asking or wagering with the Speed Force, like for like assistance or more power in order to take Savitar down, like if Black Flash can't come into play. The Speed Force has been a pretty big part of this season if you like look back on it and think about it. So I think it would be pretty fitting, I guess you could say, if it were to have a role in resolving the problems our heroes are currently facing this season. 
Like, I definitely do think the Speed Force, like, maybe, like, a you know, like a representation of the Speed Force is definitely going to play a role in the finale, whether it be in taking down Savitar or just, like, resolving something that's been a big problem this season without going into too much detail. But I think if it did play a part in taking Savitar down or assisting Barry in taking Savitar down, then I think that would be a pretty good move. The last thing we see in this trailer is actually Barry here walking into, like, a trashed Star Labs. We also do see uh, Cisco sitting amongst like the destruction. Looks like they're in like the, the speed lab or whatever they've been calling it where they have that big speed track where everyone runs around. And we also see the big screen at the front of Star Labs like on the fritz. It's all like flashing everything. It looks like someone's thrown a brick at it or something. Now, is this the work of Savitar or Killer Frost? Or is this possibly the work of say something se- uh, like leading up to the season four villain which could then lead into a cliffhanger for the break in between the seasons. We do know the Flash does love like a good old cliffhanger, whether that be at the end of a season or just at the end of an episode. But let me know what you think is going on here with Star Labs being like all trashed and stuff in the comments section down below because there isn't too much to go off here. So I'm just interested to see what everyone else is thinking about it. Now, as I said before, there is this theory around Iris's death and HR posing as Iris. Now, I am going to do a video on the weekend going into much, much more detail about this because I don't want to make this video 25 minutes long. But obviously, at the end of the episode, we do see Iris get killed. But previously to that, we knew that HR was sort of responsible for Savitar Barry learning about Iris's location. And then we also saw HR look at the blade of Savitar before it cuts away. And I think we see Cisco and Barry having a conversation as well. Now, this has led a lot of people to assume that HR uses the Savitar Blade to locate Savitar, similar to what we saw earlier this season with Jesse Quick, and then use his transmodification, whatever it's called, device to change his body, even though they seem to have retconned the fact that it was just a facial changer, and now it's a complete body changer, so there's a big plot hole there, but I don't know if they're going to explain that. And then he takes the position of Iris without Savitar knowing. So there's a lot of like holes or like uh, hoops that they have to jump through for this to make sense. I'm going to go in more detail over the weekend, but I don't think that's the case. I think we actually saw Iris die at the end of episode uh, 22. We even do see HR in the trailer, as I said before, looking upon, down upon what is most likely Barry holding Iris. Don't know how they got there. They didn't, maybe they wanted to make you think that it was HR disguised as Iris, but then they show us in the trailer that... HR's there, so I don't know what they're thinking there. But I have a feeling time travel is going to be involved in the finale, which can involve another time remnant. I don't know. I think there's going to be some time travel involved in the finale, and that's why I think this trailer is very, very bare on one new footage. Like 10 to like 12 seconds of this trailer is like footage that we have basically already seen. Like it's Iris's death scene. Like it was just a new scene with Joe, a new scene with Barry at that death scene, and then a quick shot of HR. So half the trailer is like old stuff and then even some of the new stuff is like not that interesting. So they obviously don't want to show too much in this trailer and I think it's because there's a lot of like different things going on maybe involving time travel and stuff like that. So I think Iris did die at the end of this at the end of episode 22, but I think things are going to change and someone else is going to die and Iris will be alive come the end of season 3. But speaking of the end of season 3, I sort of did talk about a cliffhanger maybe involving like that Star Labs destruction. But what do you think the cliffhanger is going to be at the end of season three? There's going to be one. There's no point denying it. The Flash isn't going to end off with a clean ending. There's going to be some sort of cliffhanger, whether it be right at the end or maybe five minutes from the end. There's going to be something going on where we're left over the season break going, what the hell just happened there? What's going to happen next season? My brain, I'm confused. Help me, doctor. You know, put put your cliffhangers in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to see who can come up with the most interesting one but the most plausible one at the same time honestly at the moment i don't have anything i'm going to think about it over the next couple of days i might mention it in that video involving the hr iris disguise theory over the weekend i might mention it in there but for now i'm going to stay silent i'm going to have a think about it but let me know what you think of all the cliffhangers that could possibly happen down below but thanks for watching guys as i said it'd be awesome if you could leave a like saying that this is the last trailer breakdown for season three of the flash this has gone incredibly quick. I cannot believe that we are actually saying the season three finale and this is the trailer for it. It's insane how quickly this season has gone. I just do want to say thank you for all the support since like the season three of The Flash. We have hit 100k. It's been insane. I think right at the beginning we're maybe at like what 50 or 60k. I really can't remember. 
I probably should try and remember that, but I well, yeah, I think we're maybe 60k or something like that at the beginning of this season. So it's insane to see how f much we've grown. And that growth all comes down to support from everyone that watches my videos, whether you hate me, whether you like me, whether you, we have differing opinions, you have to have that. So it's awesome that I have that support. And uh, let's just move on to season four. I've got a lot of videos planned for the break, but I'll discuss that more in the future. There's no point bragging about it or talking about it now. But yeah, as I said, leave all your comments in the comment section down below in regards to what you think the cliffhanger is. Do you think that Iris actually died or do you think it was HR disguised as Iris? What do you think is going on with Savitar's big plan? Like, what's that portal thing? Did he create that or is it something that's being created that he's trying to stop? Just let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.